Sonic the Hedgehog ding, ding. has been a favorite of gamers since the 1990s. Sega. That's why fans made noise ah! when the trailer for the original movie adaptation didn't live up to their expectations. It's bad. It's really bad. The studio delayed the film's release to give Sonic a makeover. They went and listened to us this time. Yeah. And that movie does look great. Woo -woo! Went on to be a huge hit. I think we're giving video game fans what they want. Here we go. Now, Sonic 2 picks up where the last one left off, with our little blue hero defending himself and his family from Jim Carrey's villainous Dr. Robotnik. Papa's got a brand new stash. Ah! He starts out with a 300 IQ and a chip on his shoulder. It's been on my vision board for years. Super Sonic is a fast mover with a heart of gold. He just loves the world and he's not skeptical about anything and he's just enjoying things like we wish we could again, you know? James Marsden plays the adopted father of Sonic. Pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. He credits the voice of his co-star, Ben Schwartz. Let's do this. For bringing the animated character to life. You made a big mistake coming here. This man is the heart and the humor and the energy of the movie. Mind if I drive? It's a testament to how good of an actor James Marsden is because oh. he has full emotional scenes, full comedic scenes, opposite a tennis ball. That's right, because the film mixes live action with animation, all the actors have shared time on the set with inanimate stand-ins. We were fortunate enough to have like life-size models of, of the characters. After that, they, they remove that model and you've got like maybe a piece of tape or a tennis ball or whatever it is, and you just kind of commit to, to believing it. The most powerful object in the Sonic universe is the Master Emerald. What would each of you say is the most powerful object in each of your lives? My mother, Spanx. <laughs> Tika Sumter and Natasha Rothwell play sisters in the film. Natasha also starred in HBO's wildly popular White Lotus. Natasha, you filmed The White Lotus at a resort in Hawaii, and then a few months later, you filmed Sonic 2 at a resort in Hawaii. Who's your agent? <laughs> Not a bad office <laughs> at all. I feel terrible for her. <laughs> the cast of Sonic 2 hopes to get together again soon for themselves and for those dedicated fans. Makes me feel happy to be a part of something that brings a lot of joy. Uh, Onward to part three, I guess, right? I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs>